What is up YouTube? Mark Kicks coming at you. Uh, we got a little something different. Um, ever since I, ever since I pretty much, well if you follow me on IG, I talk some about sports betting and sometimes it's just, I'm just saying nonsense. Like yesterday we had, our, our best bet was against the Utah Jazz and I had this crazy pitcher. Uh, <laughs> but we just needed the Jazz money line and somehow Donovan Mitchell got hurt. Came back, cover, all that good stuff. But the the sport I'm really on a roll in, and I don't want to jinx it, let me knock on wood, has been UFC. So I did want to give you my UFC fight night best bets. And then I will also give you um, my Ben Askren, Jake Paul best bet. Um, but starting with UFC, uh, I actually started this with Bellator. So I did a three-way parlay. I did Corey Anderson, the v Vadim Nimkov, uh, the champion in Bellator. So it's like their Bellator tournament. So I just took the two favorites last night. So Corey Anderson from the UFC, I just had faith that he would just destroy Buddy. And then Nimkov, the champion, I'm rolling with the champ. Like he might, he might go all the way through. So I had them two. And then my UFC best bet that today. It's Tracy Cortez. And my girl Tracy Cortez, she's 8 and 1. She's a savage. She's fighting somebody off like two L's. And I just think she's gonna dominate. So she's my best bet. Like, you don't wanna know how much money I have on Tracy Cortez. I it's a ridiculous amount. It's a scary amount. Like, I promise you, if somehow she loses, like you will not hear from me again. You'll be you'll type in Mark Hicks and nothing will come up. I will be gone. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my best bet. So she's the end of my uh, three way parlay. So like I could cash out the three way parlay right now for four fifteen because I already had two legs hit. But we're gonna let this roll out because I got faith in Tracy. Um, and then so I bet Tracy in two parlays and straight up. And I actually have two straight bets because I got her at 285. Now I think she's at 305 or 330. So it's it's a lot of it's a lot of juice. Like you gotta lay a lot. But I have faith in her, so like I'm just rolling with it. I, I mean, just put her in your parlay if you want, or straight bet, throw a lot of money at it, and we're gonna get that one to rock. Um another bet I have uh the Abdul. Al Hassan or whatever. He's a savage. I got faith in him. Um, so that is another one of my best bets. And then just in terms of uh, just other small bets, I'm, I'm doing Jeremy Stevens just because he acted wild. I'm that's like one unit, so it's not it's not too much. Um, Luis Pena, I love watching him fight. I remember him from the Ultimate Fighter. Like I just love the dude, so. I always just have faith in him and he's he's a lit he's a favorite but not a lot so that was definitely one of mine and then um i don't want to bet the i don't want to bet the main event but i usually just fall into the trap of just betting the main event so uh i'm taking whitaker uh he's just a savage but in terms of the boxing also going on same night same uh same time pretty much <sighs> Ben Askren, Jake Paul, man. I'm going with Ben. Like, I like UFC too much. I think that you... He's been through the fire. Like, this guy has fought some of the dangerous... Like, Robbie Lawler is a scary human being. And he had to walk to the cage versus Robbie. He got slammed on his head. He took about 10 grounded pound shots that would have put anybody asleep. He survived that and he beat Robbie Lawler. Like, this dude is a, he's a savage. And like, he his brain knows how to react when stuff isn't going right. So, versus a YouTuber who's never been in the fire, who's never felt the pressure of this fight is not going well. Somebody's in here trying to take my head off. I'm not saying Ben's going to try to take his head off, but it, there's still some pressure coming along to it. I think Ben makes this a real ugly fight. I don't think it's going to be a good fight to watch, but it's going to be ugly. We're going to see like, damn, Jake really doesn't have that much skill. 
but Ben's gonna rough him up, and I think seventh round throwing the white towel, or I think a decision is just a clear, easy win, six two, six rounds two, something like that. He may win the first, and he may win like the third or something like that. But I do think Ben, and I do have quite a bit of money because I got Ben at plus one ninety. This was maybe two months ago. Like, as soon as they announced it, I checked the book. It's like plus 200. I'm like, I can't. I can't pass it up. So, I got I got some good some good cash on Ben, too. So, we hope it all these hit. If all of these hit, you will hear from me again. And we will do best bets every Saturday for any fight card. I'm not confident with NBA plays right now or anything. I can't give you anything. I just shoot. I just shoot. I just, I'm just taking jumpers. But yeah, let's go fight night, please. All I need is Tracy. If Tracy wins, I'm having a good night, and then the rest I can just enjoy. And then the rest I can enjoy. But follow me on IG, Marco Polo 23 You want to see more about different bets I'm placing. I'll post some stories here and there. And I'll post the L's too, because like, it'd be bad out here, man. It'd be bad. Stay tuned.